So if you, I recently, one of my friends told me that I got her addicted to fan fiction. And I'm a huge lover of books. I love reading. I love just putting my face into a good story and not emerging until three at three days later when I really need to go to the bathroom and get some food and water. But my friends never really enjoyed it as much as I have. So when I found out about fan fiction, I was like, oh, this, this seems fun. And I got sucked into it at, in seventh grade. Now I'm a sophomore in college. And I'm still reading fan fiction, so as you can see, that's the longest commitment I've ever had in my life to anything. Like, oh my, oh my god, that's sad. Anyways, one of my friends got interested in it because I, during sleepovers, right before we go to sleep, I'd always be reading it. And I would never tell her what it was because they judged so harshly. And finally, I told her what fan fiction is, which is basically fiction made by fans about their favorite show, person, like song, all that jazz. And they usually come from fandoms. And fandoms are everywhere, it's just like kingdoms of fans. Yeah, I guess you could say kingdoms of fans. And they go to shows like Leaks, uh, Whovians, uh, Wayward Sons and Daughters. And they go to singers like and music groups like Monsters, uh, Believers, Levatics, uh, di Directioners. And basically all these people, you can find a fan fiction about basically anything. Like, I've seen fan fiction written about actual people that no one's heard of before. And those are the most awkward because, oh no, it's just awkward. So my friend recently had dick fan fiction. And she told me how she hated me because I got addicted to it. And I was like, why do you hate me? I never told you to go look up fan fiction. I would never tell you that because I know how addicting that shit is. Like, I should probably go to rehab for fan fiction. And she said that she stayed up till 2 a.m. She started reading at 7 a.m. And she didn't go to sleep till the next day at 2 a.m. Because she was stuck in this story. Because she's a directioner. So she's reading, like... And it wasn't anything about Larry. It was just like a story about the boys. She was reading one and she was like, and she just got so addicted to it. And she said that she hated me because she had to go to work. And I was like, well, boo-hoo, I have to go to work at 8.30 a.m. And I will be up until like 4 in the morning reading that shit, especially if it's a really good one. Anyways, I would just like to give a warning out there to any newcomers and any fandoms, any little tiny kids do not get into fan fiction like I don't regret getting into it but then I kind of do because I know if I had gotten into it I could have done so much more in high school like I slacked off because I want more time to read fan fiction I might actually have a social life instead of talking to you guys which I'm not even sure if there are any you guys so that makes my social life even more pathetic I don't even have internet friends that's how sad eh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go away from that sad fact. I'm just going to leave that there. That's, no. But, anyways, do not get into fan fiction, because one, you'll find out more about yourself than you want to know, and especially if you get into the dark side of fan fiction, and I don't mean like the sex side, I mean like the dark, dark, dark side that's hidden behind the magical internet door, where it says, you might not want to come in here. This might fuck you up. But you don't listen because you didn't even listen when people, when Disney would tell you you have to ask your pants before getting on their website. Why would you listen to a website say you might not want to click this? That's just going to make you want to click it more. And then you click it and then you read it and then you're like, holy shit, people have these ideas. Holy shit, there are people out, out there in the world like this. Oh my god. Wait, that name sounds familiar. Oh shit, that's my friend's name. Oh fuck, I'm friends with that person. And, yeah, that happened to me once. Oh, most often in my life. Or, the people who I was talking about fan fiction about themselves. Real people. But my friends wrote fan fiction about me. And, yeah, I found out her true feelings for me. She didn't know I knew about it. Because we were on the same site. And I knew about her. She didn't know about me. And I found her fan fiction. And I realized it was her. Because her username was her name. And her name's really unique. And she wrote about me. And it was really insulting. And it basically 
really degraded me. And that's why I was so awkward. Because I was reading about myself being degraded. And no. Never. You never want to do that. You never want to. So. I got my friend addicted to fan fiction. My friend now hates me. And when I look back at my life, I realize how sad pathetic it is. Because all my life has been spent on the internet.